The idea that water isn't wet can seem confusing at first because we often describe things that touch water as wet. However, wetness is actually a property that describes the interaction between a liquid and a solid surface, not a characteristic of the liquid itself. Wetness occurs when a liquid adheres to the surface of a solid. For example, when you pour water on a table, the water molecules stick to the table surface, making it wet. The table becomes wet because it is coated with water. Similarly, when your skin comes into contact with water, your skin becomes wet. Wetness is therefore a description of the effect water has on other materials. Water itself, however, cannot be wet because it is already a liquid. Wetness implies that something is covered or saturated with a liquid, and since water is the liquid, it cannot be covered by itself. Each water molecule is surrounded by other water molecules through hydrogen bonding, but this is different from being wet in the usual sense. The molecules are interacting with each other, not with a separate surface that can be described as wet. Scientists also explain this by distinguishing intrinsic properties and experiential properties. Intrinsic properties are qualities that a substance naturally possesses, like water's chemical composition, H2O, density, or boiling point. Experiential properties, like wetness, describe how a substance interacts with its environment. Wetness is experiential. It requires a solid to interact with, so it doesn't belong to the water itself. In conclusion, water is not wet because wetness is a relational property, describing what happens when a liquid covers a solid. Water makes other surfaces wet, but by itself, it is just a liquid. Understanding this distinction helps clarify the difference between a substance's inherent qualities and the effects it produces on other materials.